Introducing Structure Reference by Adobe Firefly, a groundbreaking feature that allows users to effortlessly apply the layout of an existing image to newly generated ones. Combine that with Firefly's style reference and we can achieve some crazy results, similar to what you saw at the start of this video as well as some other workflows I think you'll find pretty cool. Now, before we do that, if you're new here, my name's Justin and I post weekly videos about all things video editing. But enough about me and back to why you're here, Firefly's Structure Reference. With Structure Reference, you can redesign rooms, transform drawings into lifelike images, colorize black and white pictures, and create new subjects, all with the same layout. It's perfect for creators, marketers, and designers who want quick and versatile image generation without relying on text prompts. First, to access Adobe Firefly, just head over to Firefly adobe.com. If you don't currently have an account, they also offer a free plan along with their premium plan. Now, in order to achieve our first structure reference effect today, we're going to need a video clip that's really going to wow our audience. I find this effect works best with footage that has a solid amount of camera movement and subject movement as well. So I'm gonna go find the perfect clip and download it for this effect. Once I have my clip downloaded and opened in Premiere Pro, I'm going to mark out the section of the clip I want the effect to happen on using timeline markers. Now, this isn't an essential step of the process, but it will make your life a bit easier once you import the AI generated frames back into your timeline. Whoa. Now, the idea here is we're gonna go through every two or three frames and save an exported frame. Then we'll use Firefly structure reference to easily generate a unique AI generation based off each exported frame structure to then play back in sequence to create the changing design effect. Now, like I said, I usually export every three frames for this section. You could do every four or every two, but the longer between each exported frame, the choppier the playback of the effect will ultimately be. So you can use that to your advantage if you want to make it a little more choppy as an animation choice, then maybe export every four or five frames. But for today's example, I'll do every three frames. So one by one, I'll export every three frames by hitting this tiny camera icon and saving these frames in my raw exported frames folder. I typically save it as a JPEG as right now, TIFF files aren't supported with Firefly. Once we have all those exported, we're gonna head back to Adobe Firefly in our web browser and head up to the community tab. But first, let me quickly tell you about today's sponsor. If you're a video editor or content creator, then head over to motionelements.com. They have over 700,000 royalty-free music options, safe for use on YouTube, and that's only the beginning. From stock footage to After Effects templates, they have you covered for pretty much all of your creative needs. They even have an AI script writer that can plan your next video based on a few simple text prompts. And the best part of all is they have free options as well as paid options, so no matter your budget, Motion Elements has you covered. Use code JustinSaran9 when purchasing your subscription for 70% off your first month when you sign up for an unlimited subscription plan. So back in Adobe Firefly, this is where we're gonna choose our different style references for each exported frame we just saved. The idea is we want to choose a unique design style for each frame generated so that the effect has a diverse selection of styles. I typically tend to choose references that are more on the illustration side versus the photorealistic side of things as we can start to get some wonky results when using a photorealistic style reference, especially if our original video clip has people or faces in it. What the f is this piece of shit? So I'll choose my first style reference and from there we'll see it already comes with a detailed prompt so we don't have to stress about writing prompts that will give us desirable results. Under general settings, we can choose our aspect ratio and because the video clip we're using is 16 by nine or a horizontal aspect ratio, I'll choose 16 by nine from this drop down menu. Next, under content type, I'm gonna choose art. You can play around with choosing either photo or art, but in my experience, the results have been better when choosing art over photo for me personally. When I would choose photo, it was seemingly trying to produce more photorealistic results, which is not necessarily the look I'm going for for this particular effect. Alternatively, if you don't wanna choose, just select auto and let Firefly decide for you. Next, this is probably one of the most important steps for this specific effect. Browse to find your first exported frame and open it up. Next, what we want to do is increase this strength slider all the way to the right. This will ensure that the results are very accurate with our actual structure reference. In my experience, if you leave the strength lower, the results end up straying too far from the reference and our final effect suffers. We can also scroll down and customize our style reference settings as well, but in my experience, the default settings are typically pretty good. But again, it all depends on your specific footage. So once we're happy with our settings, just hit try prompt and wait for Firefly to work its magic. You'll be given four result examples. And if you're happy, you can just download it by hitting this button here. If you aren't happy with the initial results, you can adjust the prompt or settings and hit generate to regenerate the results. Now, the idea here is that you'll go through and repeat this process with each of the exported video frames 
but each time with a different style reference. I typically save them out in numerical order into an AI generations folder for easy access later on. Now, depending on how long your clip is, this can be a time consuming part of the process, but imagine how long it would take if you were designing it all from scratch without the help of AI. Now, once we've created a structure reference of all our exported frames, we'll import them all back into our Premiere Pro project. In our project bin, we'll highlight all the AI generated frames at once and open up the speed and duration settings by right clicking. Now, remember earlier in the process when I told you to export every three or four frames? Well, depending on what you chose, we are going to set the duration to that length so for me, I'll set each image to three frames in duration, then hit OK. Now I can drag them all into my timeline on top of my original footage. You may need to play around with the scale settings of each frame to match the original footage as well. Once you've done that, we can select everything and nest it all together so that we can manipulate it as if it were one clip. I found that if we speed up the nested clip to around 125, maybe 150%, the effect looks a little bit smoother. And finally, I like to find a quick flash transition or stylized film burn to sort of mask the transition from live action footage to my AI generations seamlessly. And now we have a pretty awesome effect in a fraction of the time it would typically take. Now, before you go, I wanna show you another cool use case for this tool. If you have a business logo or icon of any sort, we can use the structure reference tool to create a pretty unique logo animation. So I have the Google logo here for educational purposes. Let's head to our Firefly community tab and choose another reference of our choice. Set our aspect ratio, choose our content type, choose the logo as our structure reference and max out our strength slider. Now, if we hit try prompt, you'll see we get some pretty awesome results that we can use in a similar manner to what I showed you earlier in the video to get a dynamic animated logo for your business. And with that being said, if you learned something new today, please consider subscribing. I post videos like this weekly and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Now, that's all the time we have for today, but I will be sure to see you all in the next video. Peace.